Powered by Unity. The second of the two games I'm going to be able to put for Zero Freedom Fridays. The other two crashed. Made by Starseed Games, Tales of Finn. Now allow me to explain what this game is real quick. It's a side-scrolling runner that's endless. Okay, you have to collect scrolls to score points, and the scrolls say various things. It's about a fish seeking out the meaning of life. No. No. No, no, no. Okay, so it's a Flappy Bird ripoff. There, you saw the game. Remember to leave a- okay, fine, I'll play it. Wait a minute, is it a Flappy Bird ripoff? Yeah, it is. Alright, I'll give it a break and I'll try it. Because it's significantly easier, I'll give it that. There. I tried it. Now, this is the part that I was interested in. Wait a minute. Ah, so they tell a story, or do they give phrases? Alright, it is different, okay, but it has the same control mechanics as a particular game I hate to mention! Uh, I don't mind though. doing this, I can discuss why I hated Flappy Bird. Okay, now this game, I don't hate it, I mean, I, I think it's kind of unique in the way that they did. Okay, yes, I, I, I don't hate it, but I don't like it. Okay, can we leave it at that? Now, Flappy Bird itself, I hate it. This game, personally, I don't like, but I don't dislike, you know, it's kind of in the middle, do you know what I mean? Just because it's a Flappy Bird ripoff, it removes my chance of liking it. Can I put it like that? Well, I wouldn't call it a ripoff. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't get me wrong there. You're actually collecting coins, which is something that wasn't in Flappy Bird. Flappy Bird was just scored based on how many obstacles you passed. In this, you're scored on collecting collectibles, which is different. And I missed the scroll. But why I hated Flappy Bird was really, it was really because I just, you know... It was unoriginal, it was a simple control scheme, and the game became way too popular! Look, I just hated it because it was an obvious ripoff of several other things and its art style and everything, and I, I, I just really didn't like it. Like, this game, this game, this game is what deserve to be popular rather than Flappy Bird, because it actually has its own art style. I don't remember those pillars from anything else, of course, other people might, but it's actually unique. Unlike Flappy Bird, which literally, other than the bird, everything was stolen from other games. The pipes from the Mario series and the rest. Yeah.
Alright, this ought to explain some things. And it actually has a story to it! That's the number one thing. That's what makes this better than Flappy Bird by Miles. Now, that's really why I hated it. You know, I actually think this is a decent game, but... I take it back, this is completely different. This is the control mechanic is similar. Do you see it? It's completely different. It actually has a story to it, and the more you progress, the more you unlock. It's completely different than Flappy Bird, which had no objective to it other than score, and score didn't matter worth the crap, you know what I mean? But still, this game's actually really, really cool. Wait, what do you get? So yeah, that's Tales of Ben. I could play it more, but that would take the fun out of you, dear viewer, if you honestly wanted to download the game. Sorry for getting a bit upset at first. I mean, I, I, I've despised Flappy Bird ever since its creation, ever since it came out, I just hated it. And when I saw the similar control mechanic, I flipped. I'd like to formally apologize for that to the creator of this game. It's completely different. The only thing that was similar was the control mechanic, and I'd like to formally apologize for raging about that. So, yeah, you can download this game off the server. It's actually a pretty decent game. Remember, now, remember to leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't like it, and I can see why. After all, I did rage right at the beginning of it. And subscribe to my channel if you'd like to support my channel. And, yeah, I'm just really sorry that I raged right at the beginning. I mean, I didn't mean to. It's just, I hated Flappy Bird, and I thought this was going to be a direct rip-off of it, but it wasn't. It was actually completely different. It has a story to it. The only thing that's similar is the control mechanics, which kind of made me... And it's actually easier than Flappy Bird because of the... You don't rise as fast. Or I should say, you don't rise by as great of an amount, so it's actually doable. Unless you're me and you run into the sides of pillars, but still. Or jump in the middle of a pillar. <laughs> A 
All right, let's see the ones I've unlocked. So they're each two rings apart, making it actually kind of easy to do. I see. Unless they're like me and do that. But anyway, yeah, I guess I'll redo my outro since I kind of stopped. But remember to leave a like if you like the video, leave a dislike if you didn't like it, and say reason in the comments, which will probably be due to my raging, which I formally apologize for. I am very sorry about that. And subscribe to my channel if you would like to support my channel. This game is actually quite interesting. Alright, two more scrolls and that's the end. I'm going to show you guys these scrolls and then I guess it's going to be a good day. These are all like motivational quotes, it's really nice. This is the first two-dimensional game like this I've actually seen made with Unity. No, no, I took that back. I think the game that I did a week ago, I had to do with a pawn. Uh, can't remember what it was, but it was running your own ecosystem. I think that ran on the Unity engine. So this is like the second game I've seen that does that, and I can see the Unity engine background. So yeah, I guess that's the end of the video. I hope you, dear viewer, enjoyed the video. See you guys next week for next week's Freedom Fridays.